icons in MicroStation Select Series 3. Vector icons give the user the ability to create custom command icons from regular MicroStation graphical elements. For example here, I've got a gone through the effort of creating a custom toolbox. I've got my landscape toolbox here where I can place a coniferous shrub cell, a coniferous tree cell, and then a deciduous shrub cell, and a deciduous tree cell. So all four of these are ready to go, but you can see here I don't have a good representation of what the icon does for me. So as I pick the icons here, here's the coniferous shrub, the tree, deciduous shrub, and deciduous tree. So again, I want to be able to create an icon that represents what I'll be actually be placing with that icon. And a little background here, what I've got set up, I am in my uh, topo menu DGN lib file. This is a um, DGN lib file that I'm using for customization. And part of that, if I go to my workspace customize, and under my utilities element templates you can see here I've already created up an element template that sets the level for me and the cell that is going to be placing and then I took that element template and then assigned it to a tool within the landscape toolbox element template path and then again this is what I'm going to be working with or showing you now is how to create a vector icon for MicroStation so it's not just that generic tool icon So when you're in a DGN library for customization, as part of your task, you'll get a new task menu for vector icons. And taking a look at here, what I want to do is create a new icon. I'm going to create a new icon called Coniferous. And what that does for me, it keeps me in the DGN library, but it also created a new model called Coniferous. So this is where I'm going to be creating the graphical elements in MicroStation to create that new custom vector icon. Now I do have a cell that I'm going to be placing here. So again, I just want to use the tool that I already have, Place Cell. And I want to work in View 5 here. View 5 is the customized view for creating these icons. So I just want to make sure that it's placed in View 5 inside that red bounding region. And then I do need to drop it as a cell, so I'm going to drop that cell. But then I'm going to put it back together again as a region so it'll be opaque when it's rendered, so it'll actually become a filled shape as part of that vector icon. So I'm going to go back to the uh, Create Region, Opaque, and Identify it. And now I've got that as a shape that is also uh, an opaque fill. Now if I want to take a look at what this icon will look like, as I was saying as a, an opaque fill, I can go to my render icon. And as it renders, you can see here what it's going to look like for you. Now that I know what it's going to look like and acceptable, I can go to the next icon over, which is generate icon. And this gives me the sizes that it's ready to generate. I'm going to generate these icons and keep them in the active file. So they're actually going to be stored in the DGN library. So I'm going to turn on 16 through 48 and hit OK. Once it's done, the icon's been created. I can check that by going to Workspace Customize. And then going to my icons. And sure enough, here's my coniferous icon that's being stored in the active DGN file. Now I want to do the same thing for the deciduous tree so I'm going to go to the new icon and this one's going to be called deciduous and again it created a new model for me called deciduous and I want to work in the uh, front view again so I'm going to just place that deciduous tree cell place that in view 5 and then drop it And then what I'm going to do is create a region out of this. Again, fill, opaque, and then render it. That looks acceptable, so I'm going to create my icons. Again, I'm going to turn on 16 through 48 and hit OK. And now I've got my two icons created. 
So I can go to Workspace, Customize, and then assign these two new icons, the Coniferous and Deciduous icons, to my toolbox. So go down to my Tools, Landscape, Coniferous Shrub, and this is what I'm going to be modifying is the General Settings icon. If I click in the field, I'll get a Browse button. So I'll be able to browse to the icons available. And I want to select from the current design file and select Coniferous and hit OK. And as you can see here, it updated the icon from the general tool to my custom vector icon. I'll do the same thing for the second coniferous tree. And then for the two deciduous, I can pick two of them at the same time and assign the same deciduous icon to both of them at the same time. And there we go. So now when I, when I close the Customize dialog box, I'll be able to see here my landscape toolbox has the appropriate custom icon associated with it. So if I go into the default model and just work placing these here, I'll go to place my coniferous shrub cell. I can place that in the design file, and then my tree, and then my shrub, and my deciduous tree. So now I get some more reasonable visual cues on what I'm actually going to be placing with that toolbox. Now the one thing that's really nice about these vector icons is the, the ability to edit them. So again, going back to Workspace Customize, if I go to my icons and go to my coniferous icon, I can right click on that icon and say Edit Vector Icon Model. This will jump me into the appropriate model where I can actually make some changes. So I can go in here and if I want to change something about this icon, for example, I can come in here and maybe open this up a little bit. Just so it has a different look. And then come back and re-render or regenerate those icons. I hit OK. Right away you can see in the landscape toolbox how those icons automatically updated. So just by editing a vector icon, your toolbox will automatically update recognizing that change. So this concludes our tip with working with vector icons in the new release of MicroStation V8i Select Series 3. For more tips and tricks, please visit our website, envisioncad.com. Thanks for watching.